Blue skies sit over Adams 14 school district, but inside the district, it's anything but sunny. It's a dark day and frustrating, yeah. Laura Martinez is an Adams 14 parent, devastated by the recent news. The State Board of Education decided to remove Adams 14's accreditation and begin the process of reorganizing the school district. It's frustrating to get the impression that we are being listened to and that we are going to be treated with respect, like the way we should, and then turn around and go the other direction. The news shocked Adams 14 leaders as well. At a previous meeting, the State Board of Education asked the district to bring a detailed plan of how a management company will help the district improve its problems. Adams 14 attorney Joseph Salazar says that's exactly what they did. So we presented our partial manager plan, our transition plan, under CDE's own rubric, right? Like we literally followed everything that CDE has on their own website. And, and despite that, they moved the goalposts on us. The process of reorganizing takes more than a year. And in a statement, the state board said it, quote, will allow multiple opportunities for community participation. Reorganizing can include consolidation with another district, having other districts absorb certain schools, or dissolving the district altogether. But for the time being, nothing in this district will change. There are not going to be any schools closed, right? There's not going to be any teachers fired because of this, right? So absolutely nothing happens. Salazar says the district plans to challenge the board's decision in hopes of sunnier days ahead. Don't worry about it. We're going to be just fine. The next step in the process is forming an organization planning committee with officials from the other Adams County school districts. That committee will then consider the options on reorganizing Adams 14 and develop a plan. Community feedback will also be welcomed and Kim and Tom eventually voters in the affected districts will be given a chance to approve or deny the plan during an election. Well, hmm. there's so much to talk about. Now what you really get down to is kids. Yeah, it's kids and, and then parents and, and the, the uncertainty. Yeah. yeah. Still a lot of uncertainty for many of those parents and a long road ahead for them. Thank you, Jaleesa.